But first off, uh, McClatchy, D.C. reports analysis. Tens of millions could be forced out of health insurance. They had. No, no. They've already forced two million three weeks ago, then five million. Now it's about eight million. It's going to be more like 25 mil. But that's just kicking you directly off of it. They're also on average have now doubled it. Humana, it's going up 500 plus percent in Texas. That's all been announced. The insurance companies wrote this to literally screw you over. If you're not an illegal alien, you're not going to get free care. The illegals will get free care to bring them in to drive down wages. It's an incentive. That's why they now tell you know, half the country's basically going on part-time under Obamacare to lower wages further. And you're told now, DHS, through Health and Human Services, two weeks ago, said the news, it's okay, tell your employees, go on supplementary assistance. It's Cloward and Piven, sociology plan to totally domesticate us. You will not be able, under the system, most people on average to not be on welfare. So we went from 25 million on food stamps to 50 million in six years. It's going to be 100 mil. It's already 101 mil on some form of welfare. It's going to be 200 mil. Just like France, just like Russia. This is how they do it. It's a plan. So I thought I would actually go over here for you today uh, what Obama actually has done in his deception. This finally, the public finally picked up on this and noticed it. You remember Obama saying at least now 50 plus times that. You can keep your insurance back when they were trying to pass it in 2009. We will keep this promise to the American people. If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor, period. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan, period. First of all, if you've got health insurance, you like your doctor, you like your plan, you can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan. No matter what you've heard, if you like your doctor or health care plan, you can keep it. If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. If you like your private health insurance plan, uh, that's enough. you can keep it. It goes on and on forever. Uh, then uh, he came out uh, last week and said, he said you could keep it before the law passed. A total fraud. So, so then he lied. But then that blew up in his face, and then he came back and said, I'm sorry. But let's go ahead and go to him lying last week and saying, I didn't really say that. Here it is. Or had one of these plans before the Affordable Care Act came into law. And you really liked that plan. What we said was you could keep it if it hasn't changed since the law has passed. Uh, let's play that clip for folks one more time so they can hear the absolute craven deception. If you have or had one of these plans before the Affordable Care Act came into law, and you really liked that plan, what we said was you could keep it if it hasn't changed since the law has passed. And that is not what he said. He said, under this bill, you can keep it, period. So, so there he is lying. Now, when we come back, he gets caught in the line and apologizes. But there's a new video dug up off C-SPAN where he admits four years ago he lied to, that he was going to lie to everybody.